Okay, hello ladies. Um, this is what I've been spending the last sort of few days making. Um, and it started out with a doll that I decided to make because <clears throat> I made some cold porcelain. Okay, um, there's several recipes on the net, um, but where I look at this, it's I'll give you this sort of notification of, of those people I'd um, used to make the porcelain, uh, their, their recipes. Uh, the microwave recipe I found was the simplest, uh, but it is quite hard stuff to work with, but um, more about that in a minute. just like to say that I um, used one of those baskets that you can find at um, like a second hand shop, um, the matter of sort of like quite cheap and uh, I found that I would have to sort of cut it but I got all of this idea and you see I put um, stones uh, that I'd found on the beach inside and I coated them to make them shine and I coated the actual basket itself with um, that mixture that I make with um, can't even remember the word of it now it is but with white um, acrylic paint, wood glue and plaster of Paris, a teaspoonful of. Of course when you paint it onto these things they they take on a life of their own where they're sort of like really, um, you know, <coughs> really hard. And what I did then is I cut out um, sort of small leaves um, from um, a previous project that I did that were sort of uh, painted separately again on that sort of uh, lining wallpaper and um, you can see the leaves here um, and I used those uh, those roses that you can find at hobby store now I did find that I'd have to make the roses just a little bit smaller which I did and with the leaves that I took off I made little buds with. So in other words, you can take off even a couple of layers of the outer leaves of, or petals of the rose to actually make it smaller. Okay. Then I came to the edges that I cut out of this basket. I cut out the back and the front. Um, I'm using these ancient um, 70s scissors. <laughs> that's supposed to cut through everything and they do they're easy to use um, so I snipped out the front uh, and the back of this um, basket and I pieced the sections together to make a light rustic seat um, a swing okay and then I made a lovely cushion to sit on the swing now the thing is this is where my my mind goes when I'm trying to create something um, because I made uh, um, a doll and we will get into this um, little doll okay um, let me just sort of get a different angle because I'm hand holding this and I'm hoping I'm not making you all dizzy I used that cold porcelain which I'd experimented with and made um, things like um, little roses and uh, I found it wasn't as responsive so I've made a sort of like a little whimsical face. I made a head with um, a little hole at the neck at the, the sides. I did the same with the hands. Now the, ha the hands I'm not particularly proud of because they are, um, you know, they're not particularly I didn't think this stuff was that great to work with. It's good for making jewellery and that sort of thing. And I made um, a pair of feet. I separately made a body, okay, um, with the legs, uh, which I had sort of sewn at the knees so that they, they move. If you can see that. I'm hoping I'm catching all of this on. Um, and stitched the feet on when they dry because it's an air drying thing this cold porcelain and I put little shoes on the feet which I'd used sort of a stretchy black material stretched it over and round and glued it on when it had dried I gathered it and put a little sole on the bottom I made little pantaloons for this lady okay 
and she has a lovely skirt there which I've made uh, an outer skirt and um, her hair is is wool and uh, as you can see um, when she's sitting in her seat you don't actually oh yes and the hat I used a fabric glue over a form and used about three layers of the same material I used to make the dress um, and when it had dry I stitched stitched around it um, here okay um, I had to paint the face obviously because you know she's got a nose but she's got a painted on nose um, and I found sort of gluing the hair on with sort of a, a wool that perhaps matched from my stash there and the materials I used from my stash as well okay um, of course then she will sit in into this uh, into this seat uh, that I've made but it all started with her she was the sort of you know I thought well I must try and make one of those dolls that you know you got a past like porcelain with um, a movable body the hands were sewn on attached and, and moved I mean both elbows move um, so I'm going to try and sort of sit her in I, I think I'll have to sort of like um, do some more work on this um, a little um, garden seat I call it it's quite a romantic little thing to be looking at isn't it and there's my tea there in the corner quite a busy day um, I used an awful lot of stuff that I already had the only new stuff I used was those roses that I caught from hobby store that um, it was a quick drop off and I grabbed a few bits and pieces um, the leaves um, and all of the uh, work that I did on the inside of this all to do with um, cutting out from a very thick painted heavy paper or lining paper which I use um, and it just sort of denote climbing roses I mean it's a sort of seat that I'd love to sit in myself you know, this is a lovely padded cushion. I might have to sort of like, um, uh, shall we say, button it to the seat um, and sit my my lady in it with her hat sort of hanging off her shoulders. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her sitting down one hand. It's obviously not. So what I do is I'll hold it with the other hand and uh, see if I can sit her in there. Obviously, I'm showing you this before I've actually really really finished her um, and I'm hoping to give her perhaps a little book a little book or something sorry if you're not seeing this I'm all over the place but she's sort of leaning back there but if you can sort of get the idea of her sitting in her sort of like garden seat with lovely roses in it's June and it's warm um, it's like a little book that I'm reading at the moment where um, it's written by a 12-year-old girl in, in Victorian Edwardian times about her upbringing um, and her life growing up in those times historically around um, the area where I live. So there you are. That's what I've been up to. Um, this little dolly that I've made, um, which started out as sort of like a little sort of experimental project and stuff. Excuse me. It's stuck around her neck. So, experimental project, and um, I hope you like her. She's got little feet there, and um, little face. <laughs> if there's any questions that you'd like to ask me about this, because there were so many things that I did to sort of try and get this sort of result that I've got here, um, I've used all sorts of things that I had left in in my stash. Um, I mean this is lovely on its own but uh, it's all because of that little doll that I started making you know and, and this to, to do with it using an old basket um, you know that you can find in second hand shops and and now having cut it up I can I find it, you probably have to do you could do other things with it you know I'm, I'm very sort of pleased oh yes um, one of my artworks is on the wall there 